Generally, the only reason to convert is that Judaism and its practice is worth not only your life but the lives of all of your progeny throughout time. It's a bit of a long-term contract. And, several times in living memory, the terms have included a fairly painful price to be paid for the opportunity to serve. That said, converts are referred to as the righteous of the nations in the daily prayers. Converts often burn with a fire for the Jewish faith that seldom touches those who were born into it. Judaism only pays its deepest dividends to those who actually practice it. And, a significant portion of practice is observance. There are many different levels of observance in the Jewish community in a spectrum from Reform to Orthodox and Chasidic practice. But, in the end, you determine what you get out of Jewish practice by what you put in, regardless of how you enter the faith. But, the, out of, is the opportunity to serve God and your fellow humans. The, out of, is meaning for your life, and a place in history though the particulars may indeed be forgotten. It's amazing how a frame of meaning makes life sweet even as the world burns around us. It's a hard path, if you soul is demanding it, then perhaps thoughts of what you, get, are beside the point. This is a path where God provides as is needed from a perspective outside of your understanding. And, thus your horror may be the foundation of a better world. But, it's not all terror and worries, in fact, Judaism is sweet with a holiday every week and most months, holidays until you are sick of holidays. And, it is an excellent faith for children giving them tools to manage and live while challenging them to serve and love the valid reasons are that your heart and mind compel you to convert without tangible rewards hoped for. Bear in mind that Judaism is a tribal religion. Converting means becoming a part of the larger Jewish family. A family with problems and struggles of its own. No promises and bonuses offered. More responsibility and higher requirements in lifestyle. More physical dangers and limitations in life. Many convert after discovering their Jewish roots. So the only way for such individuals to cope with the newly discovered truth is to become fully Jewish which requires conversion in many cases. The classic example of conversion is given in the statement Ruth made to her mother-in-law, Your people shall be my people. Your God shall be my God. Note that becoming one with the Jewish people comes first. The ability to perform Aliyah is not a valid reason to convert. Another non-valid reason is to be able to marry a romantic partner, although it is what drives the majority of converts. The quintessential convert is Ruth from the Book of Ruth. She gives the following reasons. But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go I will go, and where you stay I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God my God. Niv, Ruth chapter 1 verse 16. That is the reason, Ruth wanted to join Naomi's people and to worship Naomi's God. Now in the days of Ruth, only the Jews worshipped God, whereas today Christians, Muslims, Baha'i, Druze, and several others worship the same God. A modern understanding of this would be that the convert wants to worship God as the Jews understand God and as the Jews worship Him. Just wanting to be with the Jews, or with a particular Jew, is not a good enough reason. You need both elements.